It's a new day, and it's time for a graceful moment with the busy bishops of the Community Catholic Church of Canada. Join us now for a time of prayer and reflection to inspire you and bless you in your day. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Graceful Moments. I am Archbishop Deb of the Community Catholic Church of Canada, and I'm so glad that you're listening today. Our hope is that these little prayer casts will bring a little inspiration and maybe a smile to your day, and if it helps you, you can always listen to it again. There's even a subscribe button, so you'll be notified when a new prayer cast is posted. If you're like me, You have many friends who are going through some challenges these days. It might even be you. I've got so many people on the prayer list who are facing some concerning health challenges, experiencing some pressing personal issues. Every day, through the day, we receive prayer requests on our Facebook page, and we offer support and prayer for everyone's highest and best. Sometimes, hard things happen. Sometimes, All we can do is express our love and send angels to assist. Sometimes, and this is the best, we hear about an answer to prayer, a sudden windfall, a cancer-free report, evidence that God is at work in people's lives. Miracles are happening, and our prayers and our faith are working. I have a cross in my office. I'm looking at it now. I saw it at a gift store during a tough time, and it really spoke to me. It says, Trust God and believe that all things are possible. It might seem strange that someone who's an archbishop might have moments of uncertainty, but trust me, everyone gets overwhelmed from time to time. And when I saw the message on that cross that day, I knew that it was a little wink from heaven. I recognized it as an affirmation that all would be well, and it was. Jesus says this to his friends. In the Gospel of Matthew, he says, You know, this may not be possible for humans, but with God, all things are possible. And Jesus showed his friends time and time again that that was a truth. From healing the sick, to feeding a crowd of thousands with a few loaves and fishes, to raising his friend Lazarus from the dead. And you know, his words are echoed long before his birth by Archangel Gabriel, who stood before a bewildered girl named Mary and told her that she would be bearing God's son. He says to her, Don't be afraid. And he says, With God, All things are possible. Nothing is impossible for God. In our heads we think, well, yeah, that's a no-brainer. After all, God created this vast universe and everything in it, including you and me. But in our hearts, when facing what seems to be an insurmountable problem, our faith sometimes falters. We may think, because it's too much for us, then maybe it's too big for God to handle, too. Or maybe we feel we're not worthy enough for God to help us. Or maybe we think we're being punished. Or maybe this has happened for fill in the blank. But let me remind you, you are a child of God. You were brought into this world to experience life and to learn about love, God's love for you, and the way in which that we can love others too. We are so beloved that God has sent angels to care and protect us. God loves us so much that Jesus was sent into our midst to tell us and show us about God's love for each of us in this life and in the next. Nothing, nothing is impossible for God. No thing, nothing. Every challenge we have is divinely outmatched. I love that phrase. Every challenge we have is divinely outmatched. Every prayer we offer is heard and answered. Some prayers, with lightning speed, are immediately answered, 
Some might take a little bit longer. Some answers come in a way we're not expecting. We have to be mindful that things are being answered, maybe not in the way that we asked. And sometimes the answer is that as we wait, we connect with Creator so profoundly that we understand a lesson is happening for our life. With God, all things are possible. That's an open-ended statement. And saying it, say it with me, with God, all things are possible. It brings a lift to the spirit. It's a reminder that things are working together for good. That even in a dark time, and they do come, an answer will find us. A light is shining. And A divine embrace is waiting. Now, sometimes it's not the miraculous healing that we pray for, but the journey to discover what's important in our lives that is the key. One of my friends who was dying, she told me that even though her body wasn't being healed, she had experienced a healing in her spirit as she grew closer to God day by day. She drew strength from a relationship with God that a year before that she felt was broken forever. There was reconciliation. There was recognition of the primacy of God in her life. And now she was peaceful. She knew that she was loved and she was cherished and God would not let her go. She was looking at the end of her life, as at some point we all must. Her spirit was being prepared. Her spirit was ready to be with Jesus for eternity. And she was very peaceful in that thought, expectant in the embrace that she would receive. So there are all kinds of answers to prayer. We trust that God is working for our highest and best. And as we go through our day, we look for the blessings, the signs, the winks from heaven, like me finding that cross, that reassure us that God is indeed walking with us. With God, all things are possible. If we can hold on to the reality of that truth, we will come to understand the ways in which God is active in our lives. God is answering our prayers. God is guiding and directing us. And God is loving us each and every day. Let us pray. Gracious and merciful God, nothing is impossible for you. We lift our worries and concerns to you now, knowing that you know our needs even before we ask. We ask that you hear the prayers of our hearts, and especially for these things we offer before you now. We remember before you those whom we love, who need to know your healing touch. Especially, we remember. We ask that you move through this darkening world, bringing assistance to those in any need or trouble, and healing and blessing this sacred earth. We ask that you go to everyone with greed or malice or hatred in their hearts and transform them with your unlimited love. For with you nothing is impossible. And we give thanks to you and pray these words in your holy name. Amen. Well, thank you, everyone, for listening. I pray that you have a wonderful day. Look for winks from heaven and know that all things are possible with God.
Thanks for listening. We hope that you have enjoyed this little reflection. The Community Catholic Church of Canada is a progressive and inclusive church in the Anglican Roman Catholic tradition. You can find us on the web at communitycatholicchurch.com or on Facebook by searching the Community Catholic Church of Canada. Until next time, may God's peace be with you.